Sauce on me. Sauce on me. I got drip. I got woo. Flood the wrist. It's homage to the. Hey kings and queens, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Neek. How y'all doing? Oh, whatever. How y'all doing? Oh, whatever. Ay, 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 ay. Hey kings and queens, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, today we are doing our cash envelope stuffing. But guys, we're also going to be doing the budget with me. So it's a whole full length long video. So get your popcorn, get your chips, get your dips, get whatever you need to get. So we can get all into this good, good together, okay? Okay. If this is your first time seeing me on this YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button because we would love to have you over here. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to add your two cents to my 98 cents, make sure you put that down in the comments below because what well, we'd love to hear about it. Okay, so without further ado, not gonna hold you, baby. Let's get into this cat stuff and budget with me video. Okay, let's go. Okay, y'all, so I zoomed y'all in a little bit closer, y'all, so y'all can see the action all up close and personal, okay? And now, we are going to get into the video, okay? So, the first thing I want to show you guys is my carryover. If you guys watched my last budget with me, that you know what's up with that 53067. And then, my paycheck itself was $540.97, child. So, $540.97. Um, if you don't know, we'll let a player tell you. Um, I don't really care about my 97 cents. It's going to either go to, um, it's going to either go to my debt or go into my savings account with the difference that's left over at the end of, um, the month or the pay period, whichever one. So, Carryover balance 530.67 plus my actual paycheck that I receive, which is 540 and 97 cents, is $1,071.64. That is my actual paycheck that we will be working with for this pay period. Now, let's go through the list of my bills, aka my expenses. <laughs> That are this um, pay period. So we are paying ADT security, electricity, water, Lowe's, Merrick, Apple Care, and Apple One. So ADT is fifty three ninety one. Water I'm budgeting for one eighty. I don't know what the actual amount. Well, I'm sorry, not water. Electricity is one eighty. I don't actually know what it's gonna be yet. We gonna see. Um, water is one twenty. Lowe's is forty one. This is the new bill, child. <laughs> Y'all saw the debt. This is new bill. So Lowe's is 41. Merrick is 100. Apple Care is 855. And Apple One is 2441. So those are the bills that are going to be paid within this pay period. So if we add them up, 5391 plus 180 plus 120 plus 41 plus. 100 plus 8.55 plus 24.41 we get 527.87 so 527.87 okay and if you guys don't know this bills and expenses comes out of this carryover bills and expenses so that is basically what works and takes care of this block everything else that you see over here is funded by my actual paycheck so we are going to go and get into that right now. So, now we are moving on to my cash envelopes. The first is the groceries. I think groceries are supposed to get 150 I think she is. I think she is. But we're going to do 120 today. Um, just to see. It's a little later on in the month. And as you guys know, I was not here for the beginning of the month in um September because of vacation so I'm pretty sure like you know I'm good for 120 because I only have a couple days left in the month um when you guys are seeing this I have a couple days prior to that left in the month so 120 then for gas hmm for gas I'm gonna do 60 for allowance I'm gonna do 10 for toiletries, I'm going to do, what is toiletries again? Hmm, toiletries are like my little uh, sanitary things. So I'm not going to give it too much. I'm going to give it five because it's not really, 
I'm gonna do like the hard hitters of the house. So I'm gonna do five for toiletries. Um, for household, however, I'm gonna do 25 because I need to buy um, paper towels soon and then toilet paper is right behind it. Like, come on, the two heavy heaters and then my laundry detergent wanna be down. Like, come on, please, somebody pick a side, pick a struggle. Because too much, all at once, all at once. But I buy my stuff in six months supply because ain't nobody got no time to be buying this every two seconds, okay? So I'm kind of building up household to pay for all of that. My laundry to pay for, um, toilet paper, paper towels, um, yeah. So that's why I learned household is getting 25. Hair care is to get $90 if I'm not mistaken because 180 is my hair and my hair is to be done soon. So, 120 plus 60 plus 10 plus 5 plus 25 plus 90 equals 310. So, my total here is 310. Okay, so that's my total that we're going to be working with for cash envelopes. Now, we're going to move down to saving challenges and, hmm... I think I want to do like 50 bucks for saving challenges. So let's do 50. So that's 310 plus 50. We're now at 360. Okay, and so 360, and like I said, I'm only working with the 540 here. So minus 540. We have $180 to work with in our sink and fund section. So um let's go through it like guys real life budgeting of how people be thinking about their budget walk through it like seriously this is how we do it <laughs> so i have 180 to work with so two things is happening hold on okay y'all i gotta add to check something so Two things is happening, um, two main things in this that needs to happen, guys, is car maintenance and travel. So, for car maintenance, I'm going to give it $20. For travel, I'm going to give it $70. For um, Christmas, I'm going to give it $5. It's not that serious. For clothing, I'm going to give it $5 as well. Not that serious as well. My birthday, hmm, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday, I'm going to give it, I don't know, $3? I'm going to give my birthday $3, why not? And then for family birthday, give it $2. And then for one month ahead, what number am I at? So, I was at 180 left over, and I did 20 Wait, hold on guys. 20 plus 70 plus 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 equals 105. So, one month ahead, I'm going to give $25. And then, emergency fund, I'm going to give $50. Alright, so let's see. 20 plus 70 plus... 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 25 plus 50. Ugh, the calculations in my head be calculating. Okay? Be calculating. Alright, so. 180. So, if we write in the total income source, which is going to be, make sure you guys can see that, $1,071.64. Okay? And then my expenses came up to five. 27.87 and then my cash envelopes came up through to 310 saving challenges came up to 50 which is my additional savings sinking funds came up to 180 and then additional get get debt gets zero so if we do the calculations 10 sorry 1071.64 Plus 52, 7.87. Why did I do plus? This is a minus, delete, minus. This is what I love about this calculator. You can just put a minus where a plus used to be and you'll be fine. Minus 310, minus 50, minus 180. 
leaves me with three dollars and eighty cents and that three dollars and eighty cents is the five thirty sixty seven minus this five twenty seven eighty seven and this ninety seven cents right let me show you guys yeah this five thirty sixty seven minus this five twenty seven eighty seven plus this ninety seven cents because I don't really think about when I do my cash envelopes, I don't consider the cents in here. Like I said, they either go to my emergency fund in the bank or they go to my um, debt repayment. So it's one or the other. And so really, that is what is going on. So that is the budget. This is the breakdown. Now we are going to change over and go into our cash envelope stuffing, which you guys know is the most important and the most exciting part of the video along with our budget to make sure that our cast stuffing is right because child when the budget is wrong the cast stuffing can be bad okay it can be hella bad so let's switch over and get into this cash stuff and okay, baby get into it okay y'all so my cash envelopes are over there but we getting ready to stuff and we are going to count up the cash to make sure that we have i believe it's supposed to be 540 but y'all don't 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 quote me okay don't quote me um we went to the bank a couple days ago and baby we don't remember what we took out but we know we took our right so it's okay um if you guys don't know this is all the denominations of jamaican money and i just love to have it here as a display before we start and getting into our cash stuff in so you know it is what it is so we are going to count up this money and then get into it. So we have 100, 150, 200, 220, 242, 62, 80, 300, 323, 43, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500. So that's 500, 510, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So this is $540 that we are going to be breaking down. Okay? Not breaking down, but kind of stuff. So we're going to take out all our Jamaican money. We will have them come back, you know, later on because we love to have them. And then we are going to put in our American money. America American money so yes but how y'all doing how are y'all doing y'all can y'all believe I'm recording this video at four o'clock in the morning I woke up at three and apparently you know your girl couldn't sleep so <laughs> well it's not that couldn't sleep it's that I, I just you know when like you get too much sleep too quick that's really what's happening to me I got too much sleep too quick I took two naps y'all I took two naps yesterday I was like bro what is you doing two naps two girl so yeah because i took two naps i'm like up <laughs> up up but my roommate's sleeping so i'm trying to be like quiet at the same time because you know anybody trying to disturb sis while she sleeps um but yeah child so i'm up recording this video at four o'clock in the morning and i was up at three because what was the sleep schedule for me you know apparently nothing important <laughs> apparently nothing important so i'm just fixing the money so they're in the right direction because child please cooperate and be in the right direction okay there we go so all the money is where it needs to be and now i'm going to start off with our cash envelope stuff in okay so first things first we're going to get into our favorite good good sis because she broke okay and she needs to be filled so my cash envelope binder let's go so First thing we're going to stuff is groceries. And as you guys know, groceries is getting 120 So I'm going to take 100 and I'm going to take a $20 bill. And so this is 120 for groceries. And we're just going to stuff her right there. Okay, cool beans. Um, Next is gas. Gas is getting $60. So I'm going to do three two twenties and two tens actually. And let's do two twenties and two tens. So boom $60 okay 20 40 50 60 two twenties two tens that is 60 dollars loves to see it all right <clears throat> next after that is allowance and allowance is getting ten dollars we're giving our old 10 because you know we don't like the old 10s we like new money um but you, as you guys know this gets spent so quick like it's a faster spending envelope and sometimes it's not necessarily even me it's just the circumstances that happen so it is what it is 
toiletries right now has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's 19 dollars and we're going to add a 5. So we're going to add a 5 to that and so now it has 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So $24 is now in toiletries. Next we have household. Household has 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And household is getting a big jump. She's getting $25 because as I told you guys, we're trying to bulk up so that when I need to buy all these like major household goods because child, the economy is economy. And you know, um, when I need to buy these major household purchases aka the laundry detergent um the fabric softener the toilet paper paper towels like when you're gonna need to buy those i just need to have the money and we building it slowly but surely right so now household has 20 30 40 45 46 47 48 49 dollars okay so that's what's in household next we have hair care um my hair is supposed to be getting done soon so and now hair care has 20 40s 60 80 85 90 that's $90 in there I know why I was counting it like that and so hair care is supposed to get another 90 so I'm gonna take a 50 and two 20s okay so now hair care okay now hair care has 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 175 180 okay I'm surprised I didn't mess that up <laughs> Child, it's so easy to mess up odd number counting, baby. It's so easy. And I don't know why, because it's the same as adding twos. And when you go up in twos, it's just, you know, you start off with an odd number versus the even. But anyways, so here okay, now is 180. And then this is the money for back to bank that needs to go back to the bank. Okay, so that is it for a cash envelope binder. We are now going to move on to my sinking funds, which is our favorite girl because we love to stuff her because she does a lot. You know, she's a long term girl that gives you the um, gives you good benefits because cash envelopes is really that chick. She be coming through and she helps you through your everyday sinking funds is your girl that when you need her she, and you call upon her, she's available. So, you know, I love both. They serve two different purposes if you're new to budgeting. Um, sinking funds is your long-term girl. Cash envelopes is your short-term girl. And, you know, they both your besties. They just serve two different purposes. Sometimes you ain't got to talk to your friend every day to know that that's your friend. Okay? And that's what sinking funds is. Now, cash envelopes, she going to sit beside you every day, every time, every place, everywhere you got to go. Okay? But... We love a good sinking fund as well, right? So let's get into her. So first is car maintenance. We have 20 dollars $30, $31 in car maintenance. And we are slowly building her back up because, you know, she, she helped. Ooh, yes. When I say she comes when you need her, that's exactly what she do. Car maintenance paid for one of my, the most urgent, um, necessity of my car at the moment to ensure that I wasn't on the side of the road child and so you know that's why she's a little low right now but she served her purpose when I needed her called upon her she was there so anyways now car maintenance has 20 40 50 51 dollars and I'm getting ready um especially the next month to um pay for my next expense and I'm gonna like I said guys I'm gonna put out a video on exactly all the things that my car has wrong with it what I'm gonna do to start um paying towards my car maintenance to fix my car make sure all of the issues that have been brought to my um have been brought to me are completed because while we fill these it's important to make sure that you know we use them and sometimes sinking funds people don't want to use them baby you better use it before you get stuck on the side of the road and that's what car maintenance you know made sure it didn't happen to me so get into her use her do save what you save for but make sure that you're using her for her purpose because she has a purpose let her do it okay so a little rant but a little you know a little for the girls that don't understand the necessity of some of their envelopes or necessity of saving for certain things or why you have to spend it when you know you see the number going up in saving and you don't want to spend it because it's gonna make it's not gonna be cute no more it's not supposed to be cute it's supposed to help you all right next is travel um so travel has thirty dollars in there and we are adding 70 so that's a 50 and a 20 
Okay, let's put these in order. So right now, travel has 50, 70, 90, and 100 dollars. So I'm gonna put that in here. And so now that's travel. Next is Christmas. Christmas has 50, 60, 65, and she's adding a five dollar bill. So now Christmas has 50, 60, 65, and 70. Okay, so that is Christmas. She is looking cute. We love it. Next is clothing. Um, clothing right now has $15. And we are going to add a $5 bill to clothing. So now clothing has $10, $15, and $20. Okay. Let's put her in real quick. Hey y'all, so my camera being decided to be rude and like die on your girl. So I had to put a new battery in there, but let's get back into it. So I think we're finished doing clothing because clothing and had $15. Yes, and we added a five. So clothing now has 20. So we are going to put her back. And then next is my birthday. So my birthday has 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And so I think I was adding $3 to my birthday. So, ooh, too much, too much. $3, one, two, three. And now my birthday has 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So my birthday now has $28, which is my current age, fun fact. Um. Next is Fam's birthday, which Fam birthday has 50, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, and we are adding $2 to Fam's birthday. So now Fam's birthday has 50, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. Okay. So $85 is in Fam's birthday. Um, next is one month ahead. So one month ahead has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. So $72 and one month ahead is getting $25. That's two 20s and a five. Yeah, $25. So two 20s and a five. Actually, let me do five ones because I'm really not trying to. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, ooh, okay, let's not go everywhere now. Let's not do that. So, 72. So now, with $25 added, one month ahead has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. Oh, I put the money in the wrong place, y'all. My bad. Hold on. Hold on, child. Let me get my life together because apparently, you know, early mornings be doing this to your girl. That's a lie. I'll be up. I'm a, I'm a morning person. Well, not a morning person, but I wake up, like, super early. So, I start my day early. Fun fact. Um, my best friend calls me a grandma because I be up at like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Like, this is my normal wake up time, y'all. So, <laughs> anyways, um, one month ahead now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 990, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, and 97. Dang, so close. So close, y'all. 97. So that is one month ahead. Um, next is our emergency fund. So our emergency fund right now has 50, 100, 121, 41, 61, 80, 85, 90, 95, and 200. Hold up. Wait, is this $200? Hold up. 50, 100, 121, 41, 61, 80, 85, 90, 95. It is $200, girl. Get into her. And she's supposed to get $50. Ooh, can't do that. Ooh, me. One, two, three, four. And let's do tens. And the reason I'm doing that is because I know my saving challenges. Some of my saving challenges has no ones. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Some of my saving challenges has no ones. So, I don't want to... Leave me with a whole bunch of ones that don't need them. Okay. So, um, how much we're stuffing? Let's make sure it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay. So it's $50. And we are going to add that in here. So now 
in our emergency fund, we have 50, 100, 120, 141, 61, 81, 90, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So we have $250 in our emergency fund, which we ain't too mad at. You feel me? We is a little happy that we are growing. So growing and glowing, baby, basically what we're doing. So that is it for our sinking funds. We are going to move on now to the other exciting part of the video, which is our saving challenges. This is basically when we, you know, pay money roulette with our money to see where they're going to go in our saving challenges. But first we're going to count up because we're supposed to have $50 for um our saving challenges so we have 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 48 49 50 51 why do i have what what why do i have 51 dollars hold on y'all why do i have the one 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I can't count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I couldn't count, y'all. The money was right. Who, child? Girl, ain't nothing worse than when you mess up on a cash stuff in or mess up on the budget and now you have to figure out where you messed up, child. Baby, okay? A problem is what it is. So now we are going to do the 100 scratch and save challenge because we are almost done guys we have one two three four five six hopefully we can do all six today um i do need a quarter okay hopefully we can do all six today and so you know we'll be done with this challenge but if not it's all good too um so i'm gonna start with these two because they do have two in each set versus this which only has one and I'm gonna do the top one Oof. skip or double I thought I was done with skip or doubles actually I didn't think there was so much I thought I was done with skip or doubles I didn't think there was so much in there one two three four hmm okay man, man come on come on that skip our double twice now. Okay, come on. So skip our double two times. We haven't found a number yet. We don't know what that number is gonna be, baby. Okay. Let us do the third one. Three. Okay. Okay. So it was skip our double twice. So the first skip would have made it six. The second skip or double. The first skip or double would have made it six because we're doubling. The second skip or double would have made it twelve. So right now we have twelve dollars. Um, let's go with. Holy shit! How many skip or doubles is on here? So now we're in twenty-four. I'm scared to scratch again because I feel like. Skip our double is going to make it 48, and this could be the end of it. Shit. <gasps> Y'all. $48. $48. And I'm scared. To, I'm sc Yeah. I don't know what that's going to be, but at this point, two, four, six, I feel like it's a skip or double, and I don't have it in me. I, d I don't. I, I really don't even have enough money. That's really what it is. We don't have enough money. I feel like it's the skip or double. I really do. Because, like, hello? Like, it's skip or I'll scratch one, three, and everything else is skip or double. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's a six. Okay, okay. So we were at 48 and now it's six. So that's $54. So guess what's happening, guys? My allowance is already getting spent. I told y'all, my allowance gets spent so quickly before anything even happens. Like, it was my next business, literally in this video, my next business. And I decided, oh, let's go ahead and scratch. And now we got to put 
money from my allowance into the say scratch and say because <laughs> hello <laughs> so it was 48 skip and double three four times is what it is one two three four times I skip or doubled or something like that <clears throat> so the first time was three the first the number I got was three and then I got one skip or double which made it six I got a second skip or double which made it 12 I got a third skip or double which made it 24 and then I got a four skip or double which makes it 48 and then after that 48 I had six so we've completed the scratch and save challenge and it is $54 are supposed to go in there so we already know that this is $50 here on the on the table um <clears throat> it's $50 on the table we are going to go back into our allowance so I need four dollars from my allowance so I'm gonna put a 10 here and I'm gonna take a five here and a one here actually give me all the ones one two three four five six actually no give me a five and a one because the ones look pretty so it looks more prettier than the five so you know how I am and I'm gonna spend this allowance anyways because look how it's already spent you feel me so <clears throat> Let's put those in there. And so that's $6 back to allowance. We're gonna put that right here. Then we're gonna get our save and challenge binder for the scratch and save, which is this one. <clears throat> and then we are going to go ahead and add the money. Let's make sure this is $54 real quick. Wow. Make sure this is $54, so 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, and 54. Um, at the end, I don't know when I'm going to, maybe at the end of this month is when I count up or scratch and save and see how much I actually save in total. Y'all, this is my first challenge I've saved completely all year. All year? This is my first challenge I've completed. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, not too crazy. I did start. <laughs> I did start saving like, or saving my my um budget journey again in June. So in three months, it took me three months to finish my first saving challenge, and it was for a hundred, um, a hundred dollars or more, depending on how you save. So guys, when you're out there struggling and going through things and trying to do your saving challenges, just know the best of us, child still over here struggling to get through it so it is what it is but that is it for the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this full breakdown of the budget and cast stuff and it was great to see y'all here um the tray is empty the budget was budgeting and the cash was stuffed okay so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video my name is anique um if you like to add your two cents down in the comments down below make sure you go ahead and do that um i hope you can hitting that subscribe button again because we'd love to have you join the family and like and share this video with someone else um and also for the youtube algorithm because you know let this go out to the masses in case someone needs help with their budget because we all need accountability partners and that's basically what we are. Or besties who's going to tell us, girl, you're doing it wrong. Or girl, get it together. Or girl, what you doing with your money? Okay, please. Keep us all accountable. Help each other out. So that is it for this video. That's really why I be doing these videos because y'all, because I know I have to come on here and tell y'all my business. And I know that y'all going to be like, girl, now you know you can do better. Uh, it just helps me y'all so that is why at four o'clock in the morning I am making this video, but that's okay. That's okay Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Anique and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye How you wanna do it? How you wanna get it? I'm out there, huh? Out of my mind, can't even talk, can't even walk, that little thing